In this video, I'm going to work through an individual limit. It's going to be a trig limit. We are going to take advantage of this property, the limit as x approaches 0 of x over sine x. We're going to take advantage of the fact that we know that's going to be equal to 1. So we're going to take this trig limit, and the first thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, definitely check for a direct substitution, always, because you should always check for that direct substitution to see if you really do have to do any algebra manipulation. So if I directly plug in my 0, I'll have a 0 plus 0 times cosine 0 all over the sine of 0 cosine 0. All right, cosine of 0 is going to be 1. 1 times 0 is 0 plus another 0. Definitely going to give me that 0 on top. Cosine of 0 is 1. Sine of 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is going to give me that 0 on the bottom. So I definitely do have an indeterminate form with this limit. So then I've got to work on some um, algebra manipulation, hopefully to be able to apply that property right there. I'm going to take a look at this numerator and I'm going to see that I've got two terms and they both have an x. So I'm going to take out that greatest common factor in my numerator. So I'll have the limit as x approaches 0 of x times, taking x out there I would be left with 1, taking x out of that term I would be left with a cosine x all over that sine x cosine x. Okay, at that point, um, then I am still taking the limit of all of this. I'm just going to break this up. I've got a rational expression. Anytime you have a rational expression, you can break them up into um, individual fractions that are multiplied together. Because I have an x and a sine x, an x in the top, sine x in the bottom, which is what I want there, and then with everything else left over there. So I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 0. Let's go ahead and write it like this. I'm going to have x over sine x times 1 plus cosine x over the cosine x. And long as you uh, check these two, multiply them back out, make sure that you do get this expression, then that's a legal algebra move. Okay, now at this point, I can um, take the, use my properties of limits and um, take the limit of both of those individually. So let's do the limit as x approaches 0 of x over sine x times the limit as x approaches 0 of that 1 plus cosine x over cosine x. All right, now we know this from that property is just going to be 1. And then on this one, we'll just do a direct substitution to see what we can come up with here. So this is going to be 1 times, uh, plugging in 0 there, I'm going to have a 1 plus cosine 0 all over a cosine of 0. We know cosine of 0 is 1. So I'm going to have a 1 times 1 plus 1 over 1, which is going to give me a 2 right there, which is going to give me 1 times 2, which is an overall limit of 2. Okay, so uh, pretty straightforward once you do that algebra manipulation and once you're aware of the fact that this limit property exists. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping you, be sure to share with your friends so that it helps them as well. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.